Let's see what video we're gonna record today. Fashion. Fashion. So fashion and style has been popular in the 1600s. <laughs> no, 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 we're not doing this. Fashion is recognizable across the globe and the biggest fashion show Met Gala 2019 has begun, ladies and gentlemen. I would consider myself a very fashionable person. The type of person with luxury, unique fashion taste. I just set myself up with a comment there, didn't I? But wait, 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 before you do skip the rest of this video or turn off, be sure to watch till the end for exclusive skit. So, apparently, Met Gala is a thing. Met Gala, 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 I, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Comments ruin me. Some people would describe the Met Gala fashion to be exquisite, beautiful, creative, where others must think, what the f*** is going on? Fashion. Now we've got this stunning woman, if I would say so myself, that um, is wearing some sort of dress well it's funny that you could probably laugh at the word dress because it's a fucking it's a flag it's one of those things at school that you do that with and you go underneath it like a little child that is i mean that is ginormous that is that's wrong it's wrong she's actually flexing that much on how much money she's got she hires each individual person to hold up her dress and an umbrella for some reason i just find it so funny the umbrella as if that one umbrella that each of them are holding are going to cover the whole dress I mean, don't get me wrong, we did have some reasonable fashion sense, like, let's say, this gentleman, or even this geezer over here. Ah, uh, no, he's a security man, but don't worry, we've got more coming. Uh, this, uh, explain to me how this is fashion. I don't think fashion should be something like a prop that you have, or like a head. Fashion should be what you wear clothing-wise, or jewellery, like, I don't know how this is fashion. It looks like something that Michael Jackson would have worn in a music video, let's be honest. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, Scares. Horrifies me. It looks like them things out of Doctor Who. If anyone's seen that episode with the standing angels, this doesn't look real. It looks like some sort of Christmas decoration you find at car boot sale, let's be honest. And what? Hey, hang on. Let's not move on to the next one. Let's just divert our attention in this picture to this lady here who's, wear, who's dressed up as some sort of traffic cone. What? Well, 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 what's that then? Just, what, shower curtain? Fashion. But on the real note, obviously there was some actually really nice and stunning pieces of art when it comes to fashion. Like, let's say this, this lovely lady right here. Or this geezer here. Your boy Travis Scott is looking like some default skin in Fortnite, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I rate that, though. Beckham Jr., huge star all over the globe. However, I have to explain to me what this picture is because He's gone for like smart, like you get smart, you get casual, you get even smart casual, but this is on some like, I'm kind of going to a wedding, but also I'm kind of just chilling out here in my kilt. Oh, here we go, we found, we found the traffic cone, we found the traffic cone. Like this one here is actually taking the piss, like this guy, I know he's maybe he's been hired to hold a skirt up, but he's just ruining the photo, you don't want some just man standing in your photo, come on. I do admit though, like, this, this is class, like that actually looks good in terms of, it's a piece of art, it looks like a Picasso sort of art drawing. I'm oh, sorry, but that is the worst representation of the Statue of Liberty I've ever seen in my entirety of, li of living, quite frankly. Like, this is not something, this is not some holy statue you'll see on an island. This is something you'll find at Walmart, to be honest. At the end of the day, who am I to say anything about fashion? I'm not in the industry, I don't get it as much. But one thing, one thing I can say is that this right here is not fashion. Let's have a look. Incredible year. Okay. Star, Oscar I, I, I know Lady Gaga, you know, quite a famous woman. Washed out celebrity, but you know. Now, queen, no doubt in my mind, of the Met Gala. <laughs> How do you feel right now? You look like bananas. I look like bananas. What? Why are we getting this montage? It's not needed. Excuse me, am I really, in 2019, seeing a woman classifying fashion as wearing candles? She's a walking chandelier. Like, she probably think, Look at me in my fancy dress, I'm gonna walk about and be my catwalk, I look so pretty. She, oh, she does look pretty, like she's a beautiful woman. But regardless of that, what happens when the whole place just gets lit up then? What happens then? Just no make gala? Alright. Fashion. Let's just say she walks very carefully in the well, obviously, it's just it's just common sense. You're not gonna run up the stairs. It's just it's just an inconvenience and just awkward to have that on your body. Can't even. I can't wait what she's wearing. She's probably gonna look fine as hell. Let's have a look. To carry her very heavy train what? 
What? What is this? People gonna label anything fashion, I feel like. Anything. Uh, that is literally taking the piss. I thought the other woman with the massive blanket or whatever it was, flag, was enough. But this, someone said it as, someone said it, I'm not sure who, but said she looks like a walking bloody tampon. <laughs> and it's true. So what happens is when you get off the red carpet, you just walk in through the streets, yeah, and it all, oh, it, it goes in a puddle. There goes your dress. And it, she, the thing is, she probably spent hella racks on that. At least half a million, probably. I always thought to these events, so I didn't actually watch it live or anything like that, but I always see the red carpet. And I was thinking, where is it leading to? Is it leading to something else or show? No, that that's literally the point of it. It's just carpet that people walk on. I don't know all the fashion gurus are going to be attacking me in the comments. But listen, yeah, this is unacceptable. Another accessory, a pink wagon filled with three bottles of champagne and two hats. Like at this point, it's not even about the women or their fashion sense. It's just about what they bring along with me. Yeah, let me just bring, let me bring my plane along, all right, through this red carpet. Say. $1.7 million worth of Tiffany's diamond, but little else. I mean, that, that just kind of makes me upset. Like, I, I, I don't want to be hearing that, uh, that ungodly amount, 1.7 mil for, a, for a, an actual dress. I mean, that, that could literally change hundreds of people's lives. I'm sorry, I don't mean to criticise her just laughing, yeah, but everyone here just seems over enthusiastic. Is that not, uh, that's what I'm getting out of this. And like, just calm down, yeah, love. You're here to get paid. Now do your job and get home. Fashion. Kanye West, probably the most important man and Kim Kardashian uh, at the Met Gala. Let's see what they're wearing. Kim and a $43 jacket wearing Kanye made it a family affair with their fourth child due any day now. So he's, he's come in a jacket and she's just come in an, an average dre dress. Okay. But like, they legit probably have the most money out of everyone here. And do you know what? Fair play because they're staying humble to themselves. What was it? $43 jacket? I rate that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to <laughs> sell my Birkin bag. <laughs> well, that, that, that's just an annoying laugh, isn't it? Chase! They are actually fire. I'll write those. The works. Hey, that's my burger. She transformed into a hamburger. I think I think that that's enough. Video over, okay? I'm pissed now. The Met Gala is supposed to be a fashion show, not all you can eat. I'm just looking at all these people and I know I have better fashion, better taste, and more importantly, more creativity than these people. Screw this. Introducing the YouTube sensation with 10.8 million. Uh, uh, what, what? Oh, wait, how, how much? How much? What? what? This kid's only got 600. 600. Oh, oh. I bet we're getting I'm paid for this. Introducing the YouTube uh, uh, sensation, 100% sensation, in Zingy. So here we have our stunning model at the Met Gala. He is wearing two beautiful luxury black bags from Poundland. One on the top, one on the bottom, straight and simple. Some people might call this Trumpy, some people might call this trendy, but either way, it's fashion. For accessories, this beautiful gentleman has carried along an Asda carrier bag. And oh, what's inside it? Let's have a cheeky look. It's a bottle of bleach. So he can spray you down with delightful, oh no way. And of course, last and not least, let's not forget the flex of the Supreme boxes. Oh, aren't they cheeky? Fashion. Oh, Christ, what, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? All right, end of video. If you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe down below if you did enjoy my fashion sense of Met Gala. In all seriousness, we all know there's one fashion there, and that is my merch. Um, on sale now, uh, actually it's not on sale. If you do want we'll do a couple of these, I will make a website and put these in like a store on sale. The Inzingy merch, Born Entertain on Sleeves, and of course, what's this then? Thank you guys ever so much for watching. Subscribe for more. I'm a weirdo, and see you guys in a bit.